just anointed to lead. It, it takes a leader to be good with bringing things together. And you're just anointed to lead. Do you believe what I'm saying? Amen. I said you've been a leader before. But something happened, and, 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 and you just been scraggling and getting by. You just, and, and on the inside, you, 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 because you don't let bad things take you out, you, it didn't take you all the way out, but deep in your heart, you say, God, I know I'm better than this. Amen. I, I, it's not that you think you're better, but I'm more equipped. I'm anointed to do more than what I'm doing. If you can just place me where I used to be, uh, you're, you're bored because you're not able to, to, to direct and you're not leading. So you're you're not able to put things together and it's killing you because you're in a position and you're like, this could be worked so much better if they just take my idea and apply it. Am I right about it? And, and, and so you really just mad because you just like, if they just, I know I can do this job better. I, I can do it better than them. And, and, and it's not because you're halty. It's because you are anointed for it. And so I'm going to believe and say that the next door that opens, it belongs to you. Amen. Amen. So difficult is, the person in this position is not even a bad person. You don't even... It's, they not. I, I can't even speak against them and pray against them because God said they're all right. Amen. You you just right. got an anointing to take it and, and make it so much more better. It will bring so much more pro productivity. I don't know what I'm saying, but you're about you're a man about numbers. At the end of the day, it's about numbers, and the numbers can be so much better. But He said you are anointed for this, and because you have still, you didn't let it take you out. And like David, you just kept doing your job. You didn't back bite. You didn't go talk about nobody. You didn't get mad. You wasn't hateful. You didn't try to denounce nobody. And God said you didn't. You you just kept doing the job. And God says because of your faithfulness, God says your faithfulness is about to bless you, man of God. You've been faithful, and there's Amen. about to be an opening. And they're gonna say there's a lot of people, but they're gonna say they ain't been faithful. There's gonna be some people that they think they up for because they got a little bit more training, got a couple right. degrees, and you know they got all this. And so God said they ain't been faithful. They have, they only that half the time. But God said you've been faithful, and the boss is gonna remember, the owner is gonna remember. This man has been faithful. I need a faithful person that gets up every morning right. and presses his way. And God said it belongs. Say I got it. I got Yours. He said, just lay back and watch it happen. You ain't, ain't nothing you're going to have to do. You're going to be just like David. They're going to say, go get him. What's your name? Dole. They're gonna, he's going to say, go get Dole. There's going to be a couple of other people that they're going to review. But even but even corporate can't fight it. it it's, it's not going to be them. So when you see them going in, don't get discouraged because the party can't start till you get there. Woo! Yeah, but when all the other ones go in, God says, there's going to be one the boss will come and say, Come on, <laughs> come on in. That's right. And he had another couple selections, but God said it ain't gonna be the one. Am I making sense? So God said, this go around, just trust him. And, but when you get it, give him the glory. When you get it, because somebody else is gonna be delivered. They're gonna yeah. say, you know what? You've been faithful and you said God was gonna do it. He did it for you. There's gonna be a man of God says, I wanna serve that type of God. Hallelujah. I want you gonna pray for my 